This video was modified for you too, showing an air filter element. The tools required are your filter, some spray, and some tools like a channel locks and a wrench. Going through the instruction booklet, the air element filter can be found on a few pages. Turn to the page required, showing you how to change your air filter. It shows you exactly how to do it, and maybe the technicians should show as well. There are eight points, as I'm pointing out, to get to. And when you uh, remove these eight points, the filter cover should come off very easy. I said 10 millimeter on another one. It's actually an 8 millimeter. And here I'm using a manual tool rather than a drill. So as I loosen up all the areas and making sure they come off simple, then I get a 10 millimeter for the hose clamp area. I spray each individual screw because this is where the elements of weather will rust and they will eventually break. Mine has done so and I replaced those screws previously. So as I spray each individual area, I now take a uh, channel locks and I slide the hose clamps off. From the uh, manifold area, which is actually the uh, cover, the valve cover, and I slide the hose off of the uh, main air filter there, and I get it away. I lift uh, away from the uh, little sway bar and I take the cover off, exposing a blue genuine Honda filter that sells for roughly $18. Notice how it gets dirty in one spot. You could capture just about anything that goes in there, believe it or not. Even though some parts of it look clean, it is best to replace the whole thing. Leaves can get in there. You have one that goes into the oil and the other one that goes into the air. You want to make sure you have nice and clean. Notice the three different types of filters, orange, blue, and turquoise. And there you go. They're all genuine Honda filters. Now you can see different ways of them packaging, different manufacturers. And you can see uh, that you could put a label on there, take the labels off. Somehow I'll put the date on there, August 19th, 2006. This is almost six years old, five and a half years old. I put the new filter on. I do not really want to have anything inside there because if it gets into the engine, I'm in trouble. So once again, I spray the inner holes rather than the outer holes, and I give a real dab. Maybe I should have used the straw just instead of the open spray. The cover goes on. And everything goes in reverse order. If a shop can follow this type of instruction, they would get the job done a lot faster than trying to break the uh, oil plug on the side. So put everything back in the way it comes. Make sure that little nipple goes into the center spot. And this is the part that will break on you. And it's going to cost you a lot of money. Squeeze the clamp. Slide the clamp over, tighten up the 10 millimeter bolt, the hose clamp, don't over tighten, and it'll do a nice job. Get to all the other screws, the Phillips uh, screw can go in there as well, and it'll be finished in shortly. Please visit us over at Honda SUV, mark down your book, uh, please rate, comment, sub, it is a friend. Feedback's important, and it's important for everybody. So on that note, uh, the owner's manual does have a lot of information for you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a modified video for you, too. I have basically gone over more than the records of my manual. And on that note, thank you for viewing. Have a great day. And make sure you mark down your information as provided. Keeps a good record. Again, visit us over at Honda SUV. Have a great day, everyone. To all the noobs, read the manual. All the info needs to do for a do-it-yourself. 10 millimeter ratchet and so forth.